Hi there. This is Andrew Dare, along with Beth Lane. Say hi, Beth. Hi, everybody. And we're with the Math Science Innovation Center, and I wanted to ask Beth about this site called Desmos. So, Beth, can you tell us a little, little about the basics and walk me through what Desmos is? Absolutely. So Desmos is a completely free online calculator, and it's even available in apps at the Google Play and App Store as well. Oh, cool. Is it like a calculator? What is it? It is a calculator, but it is so much more. You can have a basic calculator, a graphing calculator. You can do self-paced activities. It's loads of fun. Do you want me to show you a little bit about it? That'd be awesome. That, that sounds so cool. Yeah, show me. All right. Well, let me go ahead and I'll share my screen with you. I've got the website pulled up to the home page, so you can click on Start Graphing. You'll notice we have options right below that for a four function or a scientific calculator, depending on what level of math you might need for your calculator. In the middle here, it is teacher.desmos.com. Those are classroom activities that teachers can create or share with others. So you may find something someone else has already created, an activity to use with your kids. And some of them, you can even edit them a little to make it your own. And this third little image right here where you can learn more is Desmos has loads of videos and tutorials to help you teach yourself how to use the tools. It's very user friendly, I have found, but if you get stuck, you can always go to those videos. So I'm going to pull up a basic four function calculator to show you what that looks like, just like a basic calculator. So oh. if you can't get a hold of a phone that has a calculator app and you can't find your calculator around the house, you can go right here to a basic four function calculator. And then we have our scientific calculator, which looks a little bit similar, but has a couple more features to it. So that's going to pop up now. So you can see I just have a few more features. You can type in using your keys. So I can type in numbers with my keys, or I can come over here and actually use my buttons to find my answers. And I like it because it shows me the math that I've done in the screen above, which is better than some of those little handheld calculators because you may have typed in the wrong thing, but there's no way to see it after you've hit that equal key. Now I have a question. You did 23 times 3. What if you did wanted to do 23 times 4? Is there a way to edit it up there? Let's see. So I can click up here, and I can delete my 3 and type in a 4, and notice it immediately gives me my new answer. That's so cool. That's great if you're, like, putting big, long strings of numbers together and not having to retype them because you made one little error. That's frustrating. So that's a great feature to have. Yes, I know most of my mistakes with math is transference. I typically just transfer my numbers incorrectly. So this is a great way for me to see that and fix it. That's so cool. Yep. Awesome. We'll show us some graphing so, stuff. And we even go, you know, yep, we can even go to the graphing. So if I am in algebra or geometry or I just like graphs, I can come over here to my graphing calculator. So I could type in an ordered pair. So suppose I wanted to see something at 5 on my x-axis and 4 on my y-axis. I type in enter, and now if I wanted to see if that actually fit on a line, I could type in the equation for a line. So we're just going to say y equals 2x minus 4 and see what that comes up with. So I can see I'm not quite on that line. So if I were testing this for a class assignment, but I can see when I click on the line all the ordered pairs that would exist. And I can play around with that line. I can even add a table of information. I can add in pictures in the background. So now what about this activity builder thing? I'm glad you asked. This is one of my favorite favorite features of Desmos as a teacher because it allows me to create activities for my students that they can go to at their own pace and it compiles everything very easily for me for grading or for classroom shares. So if I'm teaching a class, this is a turtle crossing activity. So I'm on the teacher view for the activity now. I'm going to switch to, let's see, we'll go to the summary. Okay. The summary shows me where my students are. So the dot shows me that they have completed the work that I've asked for them to do. And you can see Sam is still signed in and he is actually on that last, that last slide right there, slide 10. 
For the student view, it shows me exactly what my students are seeing. And the students can go forwards and backwards to each slide as they're going through their work. So I can see what they see. And then the teacher view is really helpful because it shows me their responses. So these are the three graphs that Linus, Lucy, and Sam put together. Even better, I can choose overlay and put those graphs together and we could have a discussion about each person's graph as a group. When I'm live with my students in the classroom, sometimes they don't like their names up, so it has this anonymized feature, so it'll change their names. So notice when I go back to their responses now, you won't see their names. It gives completely random names, and that's helpful so students don't feel like they're being put on the spot. But it's really great because if they have add-in answers, so let's go to one where they gave, gave me some responses. So here I can see what they've written in. And when That's the students cool. are on there, it shows them up to three responses of their peers. So once they type their answer in, they can even see what some of their friends were able to say. So this is perfect right now for our remote learning that we're all doing. That because really it allows is. you to customize something. Mm -hmm. Now, are these available like this? You have this thing up called Turtle Crossing. Mm -hmm. Do I need to use that, those letters and stuff, 7 p.m., whatever that is? So or that what? is my class code. So let me take you uh, backwards to what my login looks a little like as a teacher. You can see this is the activity. I just went and searched for one of their activities. Over here, these are collections that I've put together. These are some custom ones that I've made. These are my histories. We've got featured collections, and I'm looking all down the left-hand side. Okay. But once you've clicked on an activity, as I scroll down, I can see those slides slides right here. They're really easy to edit and create. You'll notice where it says classes, create a class code. So I'm going to click create a class code really quick and you'll see another line pop up there right now. The class code I was using, you'll see exists as 7PNNPX. So now I have a new one and it shows zero students. All I did to see that information was click on view the dashboard. And so then you're able to see what your students are doing. Oh, so you could do this for like more than one class. So you don't have to, like if you have a class first block, well, we're not having first block now. But if we did, we could do it first block, and then we could do second block, and second block doesn't automatically see all the answers of first block. Absolutely. You could put all of your students in one together, or you could section them out. It's great for differentiation, too, if you have students at different levels. So I know sometimes we modify worksheets or our lessons for our students in person, but here you could modify it for your students. And it's great because it does have tools built in when you're creating your slide for students with impairment so you can add in writing and closed captioning to go along with videos that you put in because you can put in a video for them to watch you can put in your own pictures it's really limitless as to what i have found that i can do with it nice it seems like Here. it's got a lot of entry points for students you it know, does it really like does this. that's so and cool. it's a great way for you to see what they're doing and provide them with feedback if I come back and ask you some more questions, would you walk me through some of the the Desmos stuff, like the teacher stuff? Absolutely. If anyone's looking for more help, just, you know, you or anyone else that happens to be watching this, just post some information about what you're curious about in the comments. We'll see if we can answer you directly there. If not, we could always schedule a Zoom meeting with you and give you some one-on-one -on -one training through it. If the, I know their videos are helpful to some, but if you need a little bit more, I would be more than happy to hop online and walk you through it. Cool. And this is the calculator they're using for the SOL test and some of the Common Core stuff now, right? Correct. I know here in Virginia for our standards of learning test, this is the online calculator that the students are able to use. If you are here in Virginia, you can go to the Virginia Department of Education website page and you'll go to SOLs and math resources and down at the bottom of the page, it shows you links and so you can see what the testing version of the Desmos calculator oh, looks like. Oh, that's very helpful. That's mm -hmm. cool. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Beth. This is a great weekly web find.
You're welcome. It's a wonderful tool. I, I know when I was in school, we had to provide our own calculator, and my brother and I used to have to meet in the hallway to pass off that calculator. <laughs> and schools are on a budget, so they may not have a classroom set of calculators available to them. So this is a great free tool. And like I said at the beginning, you can download an app on your Apple or Google devices, and so you're on the go with it. It's really user-friendly. It's wonderful for working with your task and checking your answers. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Beth. All right. Well, I think we're about out of time. We took probably longer than we should have, but it was so interesting. That's really cool stuff. Um, You're welcome. Thank you. I'm glad I was able to share with you today. Yeah. Yeah. Have a great day. Thanks. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.